Hey everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. It's Friday, 26th of January. It's Australia Day over here, so happy Australia Day to all the Aussies out there in Australia and around the world that will be celebrating today. So it's a public holiday. I am on my three months training with the transit officers. However, public holidays are off, which is unusual. I've not really experienced that in any job that I've been on because I normally work them. So I'm going to be using Aka Kappa 1869, I think, yeah, 1869, which was purchased or given to me from my wife on Christmas. And it's a beautiful, that's what it looks like. It says it's a soap, it's really a cream. But it's a beautiful almond scented cream, very similar to Chella. It's not quite as strong as Chella, but it shaves great. And, and it's just a lovely, slick, beautiful, sort of cropey type cream. Now, I'm gonna be using my bowl today, the Saponificio Varicino Shaving Grill. As you can see, it's a wooden bowl. It is actually a two-piece bowl. You can pop the, pop the handle off and then you can put it in that way for travel and storage and obviously put it in that way there for actually using it so that's what it looks like beautiful bowl and I'm going to be using the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Rocket which is a 26mm synthetic knot I'm not sure what kind of knot it is it does look like a hollow it looks, it looks quite hollow inside it's not a super dense knot. I mean, as you can see, you can you can squeeze it in there quite a bit, but it covers a lot of the face or the head, and it's quite soft. There's no scratch or scratch with it, which is nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a dollop of that on my finger. So as you can see, how soft that is. I mean, it is literally a cream. Could you load from it from the, the tub itself with a brush? You probably would get away with it. to take out. I'm going to take more than what's required which that's the load that's far too much but I prefer to have more than less and then what I do is I actually rub it all the way around the inside of the bowl like so and then I normally just put the excess or whatever's on my finger squish the tips of the brush and just stick it right on the tips of the brush like that now it is a cold water shave, or should I say it's came out of the cold tap but the waters look warm, it's roasting hot today as it normally is on a strawy day so get the brush dipped in the water flick out the excess and then straight into the bowl I have not done a bowl lather I would say it must be a good six months, maybe even longer since I actually stuck my brush into a bowl and hooked up a nice bowl lather partly because I prefer doing a face lather now I never used to, I've went from bowl ladders to face ladders. But I find for some reason I actually struggle doing a bowl ladder. Now, I never used to, but I do struggle now for some reason trying to get the water right. All I'm doing now is just adding a little dip of water as it sort of it stops growing. The ladder will stop growing in the bowl and that, that's an indication that you're needing a little bit more water to allow it to expand a bit. So all I'm doing is just dipping the tips of the brush putting the brush back in the bowl and as you can see now it's starting to whip up around the room so all I do is catch that back on the tips of the brush put it back in the bottom just dip the tips again this will probably require quite a bit of water because I've got quite a lot of cream in here now this is an excellent bowl for for bowl lathering because it's you've got the little dimples in the bottom you've got the banana leafing effect on the inside of the bowl it's quite deep ridged, well deep ridged, it's got deep sides to the bowl so you don't generally get a lot of spill out as you see the, the most spill out you get just sits right on the rim and then I just scoop it back in. Now another reason why I prefer a face lather myself now is that whenever I get the cream of the soap on the brush and actually start lathering up it does aid in sort of lifting the hairs up and just giving your face a bit of a scrub and if you've got some ingrown hairs it might also assist in actually releasing them as well prior to the shave. I don't think I'm a million miles away here. And the other thing I find with the face lad with the bowl ladder is that even though you lather up in the bowl, I still tend to spend quite a bit of time on the face as well. It's not a case of just painting it on for some reason, which I think that's the whole idea behind a bowl lather is that you would just paint it straight on your face when you're done. So 
as I can see, oh, I'm starting to get some nice little peaks just on there, you can see it. I'm not quite sure this is 100% ready yet, but what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take it to the face now and then we'll finish it off on there. Like I say, I will be doing a little bit more on my face as well, so it's, as much as you make it in the bowl, I end up doing quite a bit on my face as well. So it's sort of double dipping the lather, I suppose, rather than just making it once on your face, or making it once in the bowl and painting it on, but here we go. Maybe not. <laughs> Looks like I can just literally paint this stuff on. Oh. Now this ladder doesn't it doesn't go dense like a Holy Call, even although it works, Barrister Man, Wickham, which gives me a really dense ladder. This feels thick, it feels creamy, it's almost like, I try to describe it a little bit like high, high quality artisan soap for me goes like a dense yoghurt, where it feels heavy on your skin. This feels more like a whipped cream. It's still dense, it's not aerated, it's not it's not bubbling away and disappearing on your skin, but it's it doesn't feel like a thick yogurty sort of feel. Right, the razor, the Mergress. I used this recently, I think it was only last week, but I, I wasn't getting much use, much use out of it. I love this razor, I love the way of it, I love the design of it. And I've got this on setting three at the moment, but I'm just going to pop it on because I can't remember what blades in it. Oh, got the Asco blade. Now, I actually store all my razors with blades in. I don't store them with the blades out. I'm just going to pop this in a setting three. So after every single shave, I actually dry them up well literally wash the razor down and then use a microfiber cloth to dry the razor off and polish it all back up again so pretty much it looks brand new when I'm finished there's no, no, no residue on it, generally anyway and then actually dry the blade as well And I just pop it straight back in, put the cap on, put it straight in my where I store my razors in my shaving cabinet. And that's it done. Don't worry about it till I pull it back out. I don't have to leave the blades out to dry or just I'd, I just find if you just take care of your shit as well. Whenever you finish your shave, just Clean your shit up, clean your brush up, clean your brazier out, give it a good wipe down. They'll last longer and they'll stay cleaner for longer. They'll require much less maintenance over time. It's very much like a car or anything. If you keep it, if you keep it cleaning it once a week, keep your oils topped up and look after the engine and things like that, it'll last a lot longer. You have you have less costs, running costs of actually keeping it, upkeeping it. Right, I've got a couple of a couple of bits of information, both good. Supply razor. Patrick, who I believe is a, I don't know how big his family is, but it's a family run company. Patrick actually sent me an email saying thank you for using the razor. For getting it out there. And don't worry, he's not sending me a new razor or anything like that, nothing like that. But I did actually say him, if, ever, if he's ever got any specials or anything running or anything going on, to let me know, and I would let you guys know. So, if you're not aware, and you're interested in a supply razor, at the moment, if you buy the satin 
classic satin razor, which is the pretty much looks like the one I've got. I think it's the version two that he only sells. I don't think he does version one anymore. If you buy that one in the satin finish, you also get the adjustable blade pad, not blade pad, the adjustable base plate pad to come with it as well, free. So they're just throwing that in at the moment. I can't remember exactly what you've got to put in, but I'll put it down below in the comments. I should, I'll, I'll do my best to remember to pop it down there because it's no good to you if you don't have that. Or I'll pop it on the screen now. What the code is that you put in at the checkout. He's probably advertised this elsewhere. I didn't know about it, so I'm sure there'll be people out there that don't know about it. So it just means that you can get the full razor with the adjustable base plates for the same price as just the single razor with the number two base plate, which is the standard base plate that it comes with. Right. Now the second news is I've been in touch with Andy, the Northern Shaver. And he's back at work now, which is great news. He's not quite in a position where he feels comfortable yet to come back on the channel. He is finding it quite difficult still trying to adjust to coming back from the concussion that he, that he received from banging his head or banging his top of his eye, I think it was his right eye. Now, I didn't actually know, but he, he made me aware that he's actually had, he's had concussions before. And I think this is the fourth one. He's obviously a clumsy git. But apparently the more you have, the more risk you're at of it affecting you sort of long term or permanently. So I don't know whether it's been affecting his memory or his anything else, but at the moment he's doing well. He's getting back on his feet. He's got no time frame for making it back on the channel. But I just thought I would touch base with him. One of the guys actually mentioned that whether I'd been in touch with him and I hadn't been just so I gave him a bit of a wake up call because he's a lovely guy and it's just nice to touch him with some people you don't know what people's friend circles are like and sometimes having that little how are you doing makes a big difference to someone it makes a difference to me when I'm feeling like that even though I've got a great family support base I'm just going to knock this down to setting 2 I don't need it on setting 3 anymore And there's also some new channels popped up recently. Someone mentioned one of me a couple of days ago. And I was going to mention it in a video and I forgot. I've got a shocking memory at the moment with all this trying to learn legal again. And obviously that because I've got a slight lack of sleep at the moment. The actual training itself is like an hour and a half train ride there and an hour and a half back. So I'm so I'm getting up at 5 30 in the morning and not getting home most nights until 6 30. Which is fine, that's what that's what it's all about really. And it's only for three months which is great. When I did the police training it was six months and it was a similar distance away. In fact it's actually better because to get to the to get to the police training, you had to get the train for an hour and a half and then walk sort of a kilometre and a half to get to the actual police academy. So this is much better because I get off the train and walk about 100 metres and I'm actually at the training centre because it's based at the train station. So that works much better. Right, update on this shave. This shaving soap is lovely, it's really nice. First pass was lovely, but I didn't get much residual slickness from it. I've just done the second pass and the residual slickness is there now. Loads of it. One thing I always remember from this stuff, I've used it on my head a couple of times. I've used, this is only the second time I've used it for a face shave. But I've even used it for the wife. I used it on the wife's legs a couple of times and she really enjoys it because it doesn't 
leave your skin dry at all. It's got an amazing post shave feel. I don't react to it whatsoever. There's absolutely no, nothing with it. I don't even get the slightest reaction to it. Which as you guys know is a great thing for me because my skin just for some reason doesn't like some things. Right, pass number three. Now there is a massive downside, in my opinion, with this stuff. It's good stuff, it's not as good as Artisan, quality as in Holy Corn, Barrister Man, Wickham, all that sort of stuff. It's bloody expensive. I think a tub of this is like 40, 45 bucks, something like that. So it's not the cheapest. I'm not saying that's the price of everywhere, but where I sort of look over here, you can buy this locally as well again, and you're looking at $40, I think. which for me is a little bit rich. For a sort of larger mass produced sort of thing. Well, I think it's larger mass produced and they actually still be artisan-ish, but I don't think it will be. I think this is more of a bigger company. It's been around for a long time. I think it's about 100, 150 years or something, I think, this company's been in business. Which does go a long way to tell you how good it is. I mean, if your company's lasting 150 years, you're doing a good thing. You're making good products. Right. Now to finish off, <coughs> I'm just going to go straight. I'm just going to go straight to this. I was going to get some witch hazel out, but I won't. And herb. I haven't actually looked yet to see if I can find this anywhere. I've been told it's pretty hard to get hold of. This is absolutely top notch. It's right up there with. In fact, it's probably my favourite post shave balm at the moment. Absolutely love it. Beautiful kick of sort of menthol. Now I was told by the person that sent me that there was camphor in here. I've checked the ingredients. There's no camphor, but there's carbapol. And I don't know if carbapol is another word for camphor or whatever, but it is a it is a mentholated fuel, so I can only imagine there's some sort of menthol style thing in there doing its magic. It does smell extremely medicinal. So if you don't want your face smelling like Savlon, don't get it. The burn from it is lovely. It does burn. It's not like an, an alcohol burn that really stings. It is, a, it is an actual, very similar to a witch hazel burn. Where you can actually, it feels like a soothing burn. It's like if you pull a muscle and you put heat on it, you get that little bit of relief. That's what it feels like. It's a relieving burn. And as it sort of heats up, it gets to a point and then it just starts to cool. So it goes up to a heat and then it starts cooling as it's going further up. And then it stays cool for a good 10 minutes or so. Really, really nice stuff. So while that's sort of drying in and absorbing in, I'm just going to rinse the brush out, which is absolutely chockers for a lather. I quite enjoyed that bowl lather today. It's not something I'll do often, but with this brush, it, it, it helps with my shoulder. So I'll probably, if I ever use this brush again, I'll probably use it for bowl lathering sort of exclusively. So 
so whenever the bowl comes out most likely this brush will follow suit. I do use this brush for my head shaves, it is excellent, it's got a really large coverage so it's good for head shaves, but it's quite heavy, it's quite big, I mean it's the biggest brush I've got in the den, but I buy a long shot, and it's probably the heaviest as well, so it's, it, I mean it's a, it's a big old brush, it really is, it's a good bit of weight, it's well built, it's a beautiful brush as well, the colours aren't my thing per se, it's not something I'd go out, I wouldn't go out and buy those colours, I, I wouldn't buy anything in those colours, I'm not a cream or a burgundy man, I prefer red and white, I like things to be bright and bold, this is sort of real old school, but it's nice, it works well with the knot, the knot's very similar colour to the base of it, and it's just a, a really well made brush, and it's a Phoenix Artisan accoutrements have really taken the, very similar to West Coast shaving, starting to bring out their own razors, their own brushes, and they're starting to take it to the next level, which is good. So, the soap today was, Aka Kappa 1869 Looks like that it Smells like chiller When you get it on your face you can still smell it, it's not a strong scent It's, it's like a 3 or roughly a 3 out of the tub, 3 out of 10 on scent strength And when you get it lathered up it sort of drops to about a 1.5, 2 There's not much happening there It's just a nice scent that's on there You get a little whiff of it and that's it Because it's a single scented soap you don't get that complexity So you're not smelling it all the time, different notes and things So. Once it's on your face, you generally lose the scent of it. But it works great, the lather's great, it's slick, it's protective, it's cushiony. Like I said, that, that lather density is not, it's a completely different lather density to a, a sort of yogurt cream. It's more of a, a whipped cream. It's ever so slightly airy, but it's not airy to the point that it dissipates on your face or anything like that. It just it still stays there, but it does feel very light. And some people would like that rather than having that heavy, dense sort of cream feel on your face. The brush, which I've just spoke about, was the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements PA Rocket 26mm. The razor today was the Murgress. For those of you out there that don't know what the Murgress is, it is just, as it is there, a Murga Progress. But what they've done is they've actually taken the plastic knob off at Bulgus, bulgusshaving.com, taken the plastic knob off and replaced that with a solid stainless knob. And it really just finishes this razor off, it looks stunning, it feels great, the, the weight in it is just outstanding and, and I just love it, it's a great great length for me as well, I generally hold my razors like that as I've stated in several videos, it just sits in my pinky like that and that's how I generally shave, it works absolutely perfectly for me and I, I just love it, it's a great smooth comfortable shave. The bowl was the Saponificio Barracino shaving grail, pretty hard to come by I think they did another release of these not too long ago but they don't, they don't come across them too often so if you get a chance to grab one I highly recommend you do I think there will come a point where they'll stop making them possibly and then they'll be pretty much like gold dust so if you get that opportunity to grab one I highly recommend you grab one let's say it's great for travel you can take it apart and then all you do is you just literally shove it in that way it looks like that and you've got a travel bowl there as well so it's it is a really well designed, well crafted, well built, solid bowl. I mean mine's came with a couple of little scuffs on the outside but I mean it doesn't bother me. This was a gift from my, my mum and dad back in Scotland. They sent this over to me for my birthday I think last year. So looks like a little mushroom. But you've got your dimples on there for whipping up the ladder. And then on the inside, I'll see if I can get a... Oh, yeah, you can see it. You can sort of see it, it looks sort of rough. So that's what they call that banana leafing and it does feel rough on your face, not rough but you can feel all the bumps and all that sort of stuff on the inside and as you're actually whipping the lather up it does aerate the lather, allows it to grow quicker and as you've seen, I mean I haven't really made a bad lather in this bowl if I'm honest but I just prefer doing a face lather these days Moving on to the Pochet Balm which feels phenomenal now and has completely absorbed leaving a lovely satin silky smooth feel which I love with some balms and these, this is one of them never heard of it before until it was piffed to me and it's absolutely super, it was part of a trade and was just thrown in there as this little surprise and it, it, it's excellent stuff, it really is and that's completely, oh it's brilliant my fingers are a little bit cold to the touch at the moment so when I put it on my skin it's ice cold it's, uh, there is definitely a menthol style something in that balm there's not a lot in it, it's pretty good products it's in it, there's nothing shitty in there so really impressive, you can get your hands on it, grab some, definitely grab some I'm going to be finishing off today with this Aka Kappa, I think it's, I think, 
but it says Aqua de Colonia, so it'll be a cologne. So, an eau de cologne, I suppose. And I'm not going to put it on just now because I'm going to be changing this shirt. And I would rather it fall on the shirt, but this stuff smells off the charts good. Really, really good. And it lasts long. I generally do five squirts. I've got one either wrist and one, two, three. So just on the back here, one, two, three. And that's it. I just put a little bit on here. I don't spray it all over my face or anything. Five squirts and it lasts all day. It'll last if I put, I'm going to be putting this on in the next 10, 15 minutes. And I'll still be able to smell at eight, nine o'clock tonight. It'll be fainter, but it actually is just beautiful. Quite a complex scent when you get it on there, but it's lovely. So if you can get, get your hands on this as well, this is also quite expensive. I think it's about 60 bucks. It's not much of it. Doesn't actually tell me how much is on this one. Oh, it does here. 30 mil. Made in Italy. So it's excellent stuff. Really, really good. So other than that, guys, thanks very much for tuning in. And let's say I've given you a bit of an update on Andy Northern Shaver Supply Razor doing their free adjustable pack at the moment with the Satin Effect Razor. I'll pop that either in the details below or I'll pop it on the, on the actual screen itself. And the only person I can remember to mention for the old channel is Josh Shaves. It's all capitals, I think, from memory. Josh Shaves, all capitals. Uh, check out his channel. I've watched one of his videos. I haven't commented yet. I've just been so busy and so tired. I've been watching videos here and there, but I just... It's not that I don't want to comment. I'm just to the point where I'm probably struggling to keep my eyes open to type the buttons. So check them out. There's another couple on there, but I can't remember what they are. And if you if you want to shout out on the channel, I mean, I'm not a big channel like you Paul Ages and things, but if you want your name out there, I mean, I've, I've got quite a few viewers now that watch quite consistently that might not know you're out there. You can send me an email at anothercutabove at gmail.com. And other than that, you guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.